I was in Italy back in 2013. The Italian design sense flows throughout that beautiful country. You can see it in their architecture, their art, their fashion, cars, scoots, and of course, motorcycles. The Italian design sense oozes with sexiness, great lines, sleek appeal unparalleled. And we see it in this awesome new machine from Ducati, their interpretation of a cruiser, the X Diavel. So we're in Ducati Manila and I'm here to pick up the, uh, the Diavel. Yeah. <laughs> Hi! Oh, Anna, you work here now. Hello. Sorry to just surprise you with a cam, huh? I wouldn't really call it another version of the Diavel, more like a redo of the bike if you look closely. They call it the Techno Cruiser, a cruiser bike with all the tech Ducati has to offer. Riding modes, power modes, Ducati safety pack, ABS, DTC, ride by wire, cruise control, hands-free keyless ignition. Everything here reminds us that what was once fantasy in a motorcycle has now been happening for some time already. Imagine, six ECUs to manage the X Diablo. Six! Many differences here from the standard Diavel. In fact, it would be easier just to mention the similar things with the old and new. These would be the tires, calipers, and some hoses. That's about it. The X Diavel is belt driven, a first for a Ducati bike, which means lesser mechanical noise, less vibration, a smoother experience. It's more refined, you can say. Engine is a larger 1,262cc version of the Ducati Testa Stretta DVT Twin Dual Spark Engine. It has a tweaked power band that supposedly tamed down the acceleration of the X Diavel as compared to the standard one. For a more cruiser feel, they say. But I don't think we'll be able to tell the difference. The power is incredible. So, really, huh? They toned down the X Diavel compared to the old one. Really? <laughs> This thing's gonna rip your head off and the only thing that's gonna keep you from really going all out with the speed is the riding position. There's a certain point where you just wanna fold your legs back and crowd down low. Getting to 200 kilometers per hour is easy. However, be careful, the cruiser riding position is not the most ideal position to be in at those speeds. You'll be scooping up air like a bent. I stuck it out in sport mode for the duration of this review. I don't know anyone who bothered with the other modes actually. 156 horsepower, same bore but longer stroke this time, which means increase in torque, and the capability to sustain power longer. The X Diavel looks heavy and intimidating to ride, but it's actually surprisingly light to handle for a really long bike. It's 1.36 inches longer than the standard Diavel. Turning the twisties is steady and not urgent, and riding it won't require you to be on steroids or look like a bouncer at a gig. It has 60 possible riding positions you can tinker with from the get-go. You can adjust the foot pegs, the seats, and the handlebars. TFT color display screams high techery. So that thing just fires up right there. Really, really nice. So, if you look at this control, this is really cool. Now, what does this remind you of? An X. Very intuitive and very easy to manage. They also resolved the heat issue from the older Diavel. Some of the complaints of the other owners is that the Diablo can get really hot. Now, with this one, they kind of solve that because the side exhaust is now cut. It doesn't go all the way up. Because of the seating position, it's not scooping up the air all the way to your balls. Some European bikes run notoriously hot. I had an Aprilia shiver two years ago, and that was a testicle toaster, a bed log burner, a broiler room for the eggs. The new X Diavel, 15 minutes in bad traffic, got me some warmth in the inner calf and lower thigh. It was tolerable, not scalding, and it didn't make me want to get off the bike. So I'm good with the heat coming off this. Okay, so if you're in a stoplight and a guy in a sports bike suddenly pulls up next to you and he starts looking you from helmet to your boot and starts judging you for your riding position, all you gotta do is to point at your badge, start revving, and then you can watch him just slowly look away. <laughs> Going around in this bike will have people look at you, give you the thumbs up, stare, and talk to you. So make sure you brush your teeth. Thank you, man. You like it? You ride bikes a lot? What do you ride? I ride in India. That is um, Royal Enfield. Oh, Royal Enfield. Yeah, I had a couple of those before. Very nice bike, too. Yeah. You should get a Ducati soon. Yeah. <laughs> to stay here? Uh, my sister lives here, so I just dropped off some tickets. You have a nice night, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Have a good 
So buti na lang umandar, di ba? Kasi syempre, jahe ako, hindi umandar yung motor mo Tapos may kausap ko ang nagsasabi, ang ganda lang motor mo Uh-huh, the X-Diavel is a lurker Any bike can be customized and chopped But when I look at the X-Diavel, it's like talking to me saying Cosa? Personalizzarmi? Sono una Ducati Diavel, sono perfetta, non toccarmi The bike costs 1,420,000 pesos. Now, if you're not a tycoon, a prince from the Middle East, or related to Henry C., there are other ways you can end up with a Ducati X Diavel. One, I heard in the black market you can sell your kidney for 2 million pesos. May so kulika pang 580,000 pesos for mods and upgrades. But I don't really recommend that. It's illegal. Number two, you can work really hard and just save up for it. Or number three, you can get a bank loan. Some of our banks offer great terms for big bikes already. You can find one suitable for you. The X Diavel is hard to fault. In fact, the only issue I encountered in this unit was the fuel gauge sensor. It's a common problem in older Diavels. The important thing is that Ducati already found a solution. They'll just change it. So it's not really an issue. It's like saying you found a pimple in Monica Bellucci's face. It'll go away. And it's still Monica Bellucci. All in all, the Ducati X Diavel is a rolling piece of art. High tech in every way. Yet it feels like you're in a good old motorcycle and not some futuristic gadget on two wheels. It's a bike you can keep for a very long time with performance at the forefront of motorcycle technology. And with pride of ownership that comes with a brand. Forza Ducati! Of course, Ducati has a nice cafe. Hi there, ma'am. What is your specialty? Dessert? It's a Ducati. I want a spaghetti. Do you have the spaghetti with the hot dog? Huh? The sweet spaghetti. Hola. 